Yes, it's our it's our ambition to do well, definitely in the FA Cup. Um, historic competition, really important competition for for all the clubs, but mainly we look looking for ourselves. I think is a it's a competition that myself as a manager and the, our players we are going to do our best clear to to go through in the competition and to and keeping there with all the ambition to. To do our best, and uh, of course, it's a, it's a, spe a special one, and I um, it's, sem it's something that I have mentioned for our uh, our players when we first time we played again against Tool, Hull City, and um, we be the same way. Okay, we are preparing the game like we prepared the, the previous ones for the Premier League, and it's the same way that we have prepared ourselves, and um, for us, it's really important. What are you expecting from Sunderland? Because it's a while since they reached this stage. You know, it's, it's always a um, it's always a really tough game. This situation it doesn't matter if you are facing um, Premier League sides or Championship sides, League One sides, whatever. It's, it's always really special. Their their ambition, their desire to come. I think it will, everyone will will understand when the the game will start. Um, the big number of fans that they, they, they follow their team as well. You, all of us, we know. How Sunderland is as a football club, and um, when they are in a in a good moment, how they can be really well support from from their fans as well. I think will be tomorrow. We are going to feel that you are going in a, play a FA Cup match uh, against a, a club with um, a great fan base and um, a squad that for sure wants to come here and to to do their best to to go to win the competition. And um, it's up to us to play it. At our, at our very best, because we we want really, and our our desire and our ambition is really to play the next the next round. I know you don't like to have a running commentary on transfers, but I wonder, could you tell us how close you are to finalising things with Cedric? I would say I'll not mention players. I'll not mention players because we you have mentioned one player that is not is is Arsenal player, and I will not talk about. Players that they are not under 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 us and uh, working with us uh, already. Um, if you ask me that we, if I'm thinking that we are close to to finish something, we should we should be because um, more for days and the market we, is going to close and we is going to close. We should be closer um, and we we hope that we can do something until the end of the the market. Um, probably um, some players they they, they can go and. Um, and um, probably two players they, they, they should have in come and they should have signed two, two players. Let's see if you can you can finish the deals until the end of the market. But let's let's hope. Do you know how many players you're hoping to, to get in before closing? Two players. So probably two players, yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, I just want to ask you finally about Everton, if you don't mind. I know you've obviously been an Everton manager, but what do you make of what's gone on there over the last week or so? I wonder, do you think that short down should be a good thing? No, I'm not the right person to talk. I think these decisions and uh, um, what's happening in Everton is for the, um, the people that is commanding the club to talk about it. Thank you. Thanks. Um, before I come to radio, um, Sonia, do you have anything for the Press Association for broadcast? Yeah, um, Marco, I just wanted yeah. to check how is everyone ahead of the game against Sunderland? Um, Everyone is all, not many difference because the, the, regarding our, our last game, um, the players that they, they were in the last game, majority of them, most of them, they, they will be involved in the game and they will be ready to play. And I know it's been a busy period, especially with the really tight turnaround between Chelsea and Newcastle. Um, is this game a, an opportunity to sort of rotate the squad a bit and use some of those players who haven't been? Necessarily starting matches recently. Some players they are deserving their, their chance as well, definitely. And um, 
for me makes sense of course what I said before that is a really important competition for us um, and it is definitely it is sometimes the, the players we, we have rotated against uh, Hull uh, away from home and, and some players they, they, they perform well some players they, they, they got that, that chance and probably it's again a, a moment for us to see some performance some pop up some they are deserving the more minutes as well and it will be a moment for, them, for, for some of them to to start the game and so in the broadcast, John, BBC Five Live. Um, you mentioned Alexander Mitrovic. Is he is he fit and okay? You know, okay. I've mentioned Mitrovic. Oh. You mentioned Mitrovic. No, no. No, is he is he okay? Is he yes, yes. So he he's ready to play tomorrow, is he? Yeah, he's ready. Right. Does he does it, would he be one of those players you'll think about maybe resting? No, I'm not mentioned just to Mitro or whatever. Mitro is like the others. Uh, Mitro um, is playing when we we are going to decide for him to play. When he has to rest, is like the others. Will not be a something specific with Mitro because Mitro is one of ourselves it's not just Mitro and, and the others and for me it's clear this, this situation and the, what we are going to to decide tomorrow um, not just regarding Mitro but regarding all the other players You've had a great start first half of the season haven't you is, is the, the secret in the hard bit now trying to maintain it where, where you are because I mean, a lot of people have been obviously surprised with the season you've had so far Yes we have to do our best to, man, to, to maintain to uh, to play with the, the same consistency, to play with the same quality, the, to show the same the, the same desire to to keep going. But we, we you know, and uh, we know as well that we are not playing alone. We have the um, very good sides in, in front of us, ahead of us to to play against, and you have to um, to play with the same ambition at the same time to to be realistic as well. Of course, we are pleased with our first half of the season, but we we are really with the um, the feet on the, on the ground and you know what type of competition you are playing and uh, you have to keep in the same way working hard like we have been working um, embracing the challenge like we, we did um, we have been doing so far as well but at the same time and we as a, as a group inside our dressing room everyone knows what type of competition we, we are playing uh, for the ambition no one will take from ourselves but at the same time you know the quality that we are facing every time it's easy to understand the, the clubs that they are behind, behind us, how they are strengthening their squads as well. They don't stop, and uh, you know that is really tough to be at, uh, at this level always. And you have to to be always uh, with ambition to to improve. And to maintain and, and to improve, do you think you, you said you need to bring two players in? Do you think that is crucial to, to do that to maintain where you are to bring players in? No, it's, it, it is really important. Of course, we. I'm not. Um, a big fan to, to change many things in, in general are not uh, okay if you need of course if you are not if something is going wrong or if you have some big number of injuries of course if you have to you have to go and to, to do it and uh, um, and of course we we are in a situation that we we did really well in the summer in my opinion I think some some of the signers they settled really well I believe there is a space now for some of the others that until now, they, they haven't showed that the quality they, they have to start to show again. Some of them, they are better physical condition now, much more settled now. There is a moment for them to to show their quality. And of course, when I'm saying about two positions that we are looking for and we hope we can we, we can strengthen our, our squad because are, are two positions that we I think we need some some depth there and to, to, to be stronger, to make the competition harder inside our, our squad. I suspect the fans' expectations have changed a bit now, haven't they? As well, given the season you've had so far, they're going to have greater expectations. So, what, what do you think, from where you sit now, would constitute a successful season? Have your ambitions changed? To achieve our goal. Which is? You know our goal from the first time. Okay. I, I don't need to repeat every time. So, if you now change slightly your thoughts? No, I, I don't see reason. I don't see reasons to, to change. We, we didn't achieve anything. We haven't achieved anything until now. I don't see one reason to, to change um, what I'm saying to you um, every week here before the, the matches, our players as well. If you haven't changed, if you haven't achieved something that is really important for us, what, what, is, the, what is the reason why you're going to change? Uh, I don't see clubs, not just ourselves, all the other clubs that they are fighting for different targets to change in the middle of the season something 
before they achieve something. Why Fulham Football Club has to do? I don't understand really. And it's not because of the pressure. Uh, pressure we put ourselves every, every single day, but I don't see reasons. I, I said to you, clubs that are behind us, they don't stop to sign players, they don't stop to, to go and to be stronger as a, uh, as a team. Why now Fulham Football Club has to change the, their, their targets if you haven't achieved anything until now? Thanks, Thanks Ernesto Broadcast.